As we focus on confronting generational heart disease, I would like to invite um, Clarissa Kirk. Clarissa Kirk um, is here and joining us today. Clarissa has a 17-year career with the U.S. Department of Justice and is the owner of VNO Couture by Posh, an elegant wear, uh, glassware line. Um, Clarissa, welcome to the stage. If we can, yes, come on, or we can, you can have a seat with us here. You want to stand? Okay, she wants to stand. So Clarissa is going to share her story with us today. And welcome, Clarissa. Thank you, thank you all. So I'm going to tell you. I think I'm mic'd up over here as well. I'm mic'd up. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm going to tell you a uh, quick story of um, our family uh, generational heart disease. So it goes a little something like this. It was a beautiful morning. The air was crisp. As I heard the starter pistol. My legs sped off. It was the last race of the season. I was running at my junior high school cross country meet. This is my chance to finally come in first. I waited for this moment all year long. I trained so hard. So here I come. The crowd is cheering on. I'm passing up the fifth runner, the fourth runner. It's the last 500 meters of the race. I'm passing up the third, the second. Oh my God, I can already feel it. I can already imagine what it's going to feel like to be number one. I can hear the crowd cheering, but ah, uh, the pain in my chest. I can't breathe, I collapse. The next thing I know, I wake up in the hospital and I'm diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse. I was told that, uh, I was only 13 years old, by the way, at the time. I was told that with uh, proper medication, routine checkups, I should be okay, but will I be? You see, everyone in my family dies young. On my mom's side of the family, my grandfather died at the age of 49. My grandmother died at the age of 57. On my dad's side, my grandfather died at 42, and my grandmother died at 64. 95% of my aunts and uncles have some sort of heart condition, and at least 80% of them have had heart attacks. As a matter of fact, last night while I was getting for, ready for today's event, I, we received a call that one of my aunts in Mexico had a heart attack and she was currently in the hospital. My brother and half-sister both have heart conditions. My brother has atrial fibrillation and my sister has a heart murmur. So that is why I ask myself these questions. Will I be okay? Will I outlive my grandparents? I don't know the answer to those questions, but I do know that I'm doing everything possible to stay alive. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure and high cholesterol. That day, my primary care physician said I was pretty much a ticking time bomb. Not exactly what I wanted to hear. I will say the past three years I've struggled with diet and exercise. I mean, if it was easy, we'd all do it, right? According to statistics, heart disease is the number one killer for women. Plus, there are other risk factors such as cholesterol, smoking, family history, and blood pressure. Did you know that all of these risk factors can lead to heart disease? But the question one must ask themselves is this. If we knew that a well-balanced diet, exercise, and routine checkups would perhaps give us a better chance of survival. Would we do it? I am. I am taking responsibility for my own health. So how do I do it? I made the choice, the choice to eat a heart-healthy diet, working out three to four times a week for an hour each time. But most importantly, I'm getting my routine checkups to ensure that my heart and blood pressure are under control. I also learned to take it easy and manage my stress. I used to stress about everything, and I mean everything. Look, at the end of the day, it is up to us to make the choice, the choice to live. So my message for you today is this. You see this right here, our heart? That is what allows us to love and to live. So please love yourselves and check that heart in order to live. Thank you so much for your time.